Hi, the PoE Power over Ethernet allows us to use single Ethernet cable to send both power and data to the edge device, such as the IP camera, access point, VoIP phone. So we don't need to have the power source at the edge. It's convenient to set up this IP device. But the PoE or PoE Plus is also limited to the power source. The maximum power budget from the PoE Plus is 30 watts. It's still enough for the like, IP camera access point, but for some new development IP device, such like the Wi-Fi 6 access point, this one, it requires 40 watts. And there's PDZ camera with heater built-in. The heater, heater will consume a lot of power. It requires about 50 watts. So the PoE Plus is not enough to supply the power to this IP, new IP device. What is the solution? Now we just have the new PoE standard called PoE++, Some, sometimes also say PoE BT. This new PoE standard take all the four twist pair to increase the power up to 90 watt. It's about three times of the traditional PoE+. As you know, there are four twist pair in this KFIE Ethernet cable. In the PoE and PoE+, Plus, only half two twist pair is being used to send the power. With the new standard PoE++, Plus, Plus, all the four twist pair is being used to send the power. That's one of the reasons why the PoE++ Plus, Plus can carry up to 90 watt high power budget. These other devices can work with the PoE++. Plus, Plus. By the way, there are several class in PoE++. Plus, Plus. The typical one is class 6 and class 8. The class 6 supply up to 60 watt. Only the class A can supply up to 90 watt. This, these are the devices which can work with the class up to class 8. Right now, let me just make a quick connection. Let's use this PO injector. The PO injector has power source built in. You can see there are two ports. One is the PoE port, which will connect the cable from the edge device, and also the data port, which you need to link, link to our router. So the injector will combine both data and power and send through the Ethernet cable. And on the opposite side, we can see this is the AC power code, which will take the power source. There's not much different with the pure switch. Instead, there's switch built in. So if you have more than one chain, one link, for example, you have two devices, you need high power, you can take this PoE switch. The port one and port number two can supply up to 90 watt high power budget. Okay, now first let me just power up the PoE injector. And you connect the power code to the PoE injector. Once connect, you can see the power indicator is on. Now I got the punch code to link the data port to the, to the switch. Connect to our router, we got the internet accessing from this router. And then I can use the long Ethernet cable to connect the PoE injector, the PoE port, and to the Wi-Fi 6 access point. This is the this access point requires 40 watts. It's working outdoor and only support PoE. So you cannot use the additional power source, like the power data to power this access point. Okay, plug in, I can see the data, the power is on, it's showing the access point is taking four pair power from this injector. And we get, you can have the network accessing from the access point. Also, we can power this using this PoE++ to power the IP camera. Okay, let me remove the cable from the access point. Now I'm going to connect the camera to the cable from the PoE injector. Once I plug in, sorry, it's just pull out, do it again. Once I plug in, you can see the camera is just uh, rotating. It means it's getting power and also the data from the network. And we still have one more equipment. This is the PoE speeder. This speeder also can supply the high power PoE. When we, when we may need this speeder, for example, if your equipment like the post machine or even the all-in-one computer, it doesn't have high power PoE built in, like it doesn't support the PoE. In that case, you can use the, this PoE speeder. 
And there's also two ports. We need to connect the cable to the PoE port. Then we got the power from this connector, also the data. If this is all in one computer, so you, can, you got the power, also the data. All right, I think there's one more thing we may need to talk about. I've just mentioned there are several class, like the class A, class 7, class 6, even lower class for the PoE and PoE+. Plus. Whether this PoE injector, high power injector can power the regular, like the PoE, PoE, PoE Plus or not, the answer is yes. Because before the PoE send the power to the edge device, it will need to have the power ne negotiation. It will verify, also classify your edge device. The PoE injector or the switch will know how much power your edge device is really need, and it will set the class from in the PoE switch or the PoE injector. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post comment section below. See you next time.